Good afternoon, folks. Welcome back to Higher Chemistry. Super short one today. We're dealing with fragrances, which is SQA pages 78 to 79. Scholar, that's a bit optimistic for Scholar. Honestly, there's like a handful of learning outcomes in this one. Uh, we have a piece of orange peel and we have a rosemary plant. Um, and I would like to start... Well, I was going to take my props away and start with a couple of definitions. The SQA want you to know what an essential oil is. An essential oil is a concentrated extract of the really interesting, smelly and tasty chemicals that are in plants. So, uh, concentrated extract, extracted chemicals from plants. Um, that's what uh, an essential oil is. Uh, chemicals, plural, because they're rarely singular. They're mixtures of various different compounds. They're widely used in perfumes, cosmetic products, cleaning products, believe it or not. The stuff I clean my hands with after fixing my bike is based on essential oils from citrus fruits. So they can be used in cleaning products, smelly things, tastes, a variety of things. Um, they're also um, used in cosmetic products and various other places. So what on earth are in essential oils? Um, we're going to have a look at Terpenes. Now, terpenes, or as Dr. Borfi calls them, terpenes, uh, which makes me laugh, uh, these are based on like a Lego building block of a chemical, and it's uh, 2-methyl buta 1,3-diene, which doesn't sound that enticing, so let's actually draw it out. So, butadiene means it's basically got a four carbon skeleton. It's buta 1,3-diene, so on the first carbon and on the third carbon. Uh, and it's 2-methyl, so there is a CH3 skeleton up there. It's frequently shown in its skeletal formula, like this. Now, in skeletal formula... Oh, sorry, I forgot that. There we go. Every time you have a change of angle, there's a carbon atom, and at the end of the chain, there's a carbon atom. Don't worry, you're not required to know skeletal formula for higher. We'll come back to advanced higher, but if you see weird lines and stuff, it's basically this molecule here. Um, it's formula... Let's put the edges in. Hey, don't be sloppy, man. Here we go. Its formula is C5, H123678. So that's the basic formula of a terpene unit. So that is what the basic terpene unit is, C5H8. I did say it's like Lego. They tend to link together in multiples of C5H8. So you could also have um, C10, H16... Um, C15, H24, etc. I'm not going to go into the exact chemical history behind the linking because it's a little bit footery. Um, but basically, that's what a terpene is. And when you start sticking them together, for example, you stick, I think, three together, if I remember correctly, you make the chemical that makes uh, orange peel so smelly. It's, by the way, a wee word on polarity here. You'll notice these are totally non-polar. Um, you can demonstrate this if you fancy. Take yourself a balloon, blow the balloon up, um, sprinkle some water onto it, gasp in amazement as absolutely nothing happens. However, if you dry the balloon off, take this piece of orange peel and spray the oil from the orange peel onto the balloon, like that. Now that probably doesn't show up on my camera, I'm afraid. But there are little dark patches showing in this. These are not water soluble. that's not water based, that's oil based. And you'll burst the balloon in less than about four seconds because the non-polar uh, Terpenes dissolve into the non-polar rubber and weaken the structure. There's a home experiment for you. The last part of this, the SQ I want you to know, I did say it's a short video, is that terpenes can be oxidised to make interesting flavours and spices. It's not a great unit, this SQA, honestly. They didn't think this one through. They really didn't. Because there's not a great amount you can say on this. It's just a standalone statement. I'm not going to rant. Uh, I'm probably just going to call it... Oh, I know what I'm going to do. I'm going to show you a problem-solving example of it. Excuse me. Are we in focus? I think so. Uh, right, guys, so what we've got here is we've got a, a question 2019, I think, if I remember correctly. They define a hemiterpene as having one isoprene unit, so that's like one block of C5H8, a monoterpene, bizarrely, as having two blocks, a sesqui as having three, a di as having four, <laughs> and a... Oh, oh, sorry, did I forget to mention the magic word? I did as well, sorry. What a Muppet. The name for this molecule is isoprene. My sincere apologies. I've been doing a couple of videos today. I should go back and do this one from the start, but it's been a long day. Um, so isoprene 
when you join isoprenes together, you make terpenes. And my apologies for not making that clear. Glad I kept this example in. So here we go, a triterpene is six isoprene units. And then they give you this, myrcene and humulene are terpenes present in hops, which give beer its characteristic flavour and aroma. Circle an isoprene unit on the structure of myrcene, too many enes here, uh, below. So they give you this big complex molecule and they're wanting you to identify an isoprene unit. So they're checking that you know that an isoprene is one, two, three, four, five, with a methyl branch and a couple of double bonds in it. So if we run through the structure there, there's a double bond here and there's a methyl group, but I'm only seeing one double bond in this part. And remember, you can only have five carbons. So one, two, three, four, five. No, you're snookered. Let's go to the other end. One, two, there's a methyl branch. Three, f one, two, three, four, five. Oh, that's looking promising. And there's a double bond. There's a double bond. So I think that is our isoprene unit. Um, lastly down here, it says humulene has the molecular formula C15H24. Now, if you remember, uh, each isoprene is C5H8. So that's obviously three isoprenes put together in order to make that formula there. And you've got to use this information here to name the type of terpene. Well, three isoprene units is a sesquiterpene. So that's your problem solving relatively easy two marks to do with terpenes. And I think I'm done. Thanks for listening. Bye bye.